Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here. From what we have here, this follows when we have a raised to the power m plus n, which we can write as a raised to the power m times a raised to the power n. At this year, we have 5 raised to the power x times 5 squared, then minus 5 raised to the power x equals to 80 on this side. Then, here we have 5 raised to the power x common. We factor it out as 5 raised to the power x into bracket. 5 square left here, then minus. 1 left here, close bracket, equals to 80 on this side. Then, here, this same thing as 5 raised to the power x into bracket. 5 square here, that's 25 minus 1, close bracket, equals to 80 from here. Then, we have 5 raised to the power x times 24 here, equals to 80 on this side. Next step here, we divide both sides by 24. Divide this side by 24. Also, divide this side by 24. 24 cancelled each other here. And we have 5 raised to the power x equals to 80 over 24. Thank you for watching Master T at last. Then, here we can write this as 5 raised to the power x equals to 8 times 10 here, then over 8 times 3 here. That is, 8 cancelled each other. We have 5 raised to the power x now equals to 10 over 3 here. Then from here, we take the log on both sides. That is, we have log 5 raised to the power x equals to log 10 over 3 from here. Then we apply the power law of logarithm from when we have log m raised to the power p, which is same thing as p log m. Then what we have here becomes x log 5 equals to log 10 over 3. The next step here, we divide both sides by log 5. That is, divide here by log 5. Also, divide this side by log 5, which implies log 5 cancelled each other here. And we have x equals to log 10 over 3. Then, divide by log 5 here. And what we have here follows from the law of log n. When we have log a over b, here this is the same thing as log a minus log b. That is, from here we have x equals to log 10 minus log 3, then over log 5. And here we separate this into two fractions. That is, we have x equals to log 10 over log 5, then minus log 3 over log 5, which implies from here, let's write 10 as 5 times 2. Uh, what we have becomes x equals to log 5 times 2 over log 5, then minus log 3 over log 5. And also here what we have follows the log logarithm, where we have log a times b. Here we can write this as log a plus log b. That is, we have x equals to log 5 plus log 2 over log 5, then minus log 3 
over log 5 here. Our next step also, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 5 over log 5 plus log 2 over log 5 then minus log 3 over log 5 from here that is log 5 cancelled each other here we have one left that is x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 5 then minus log 3 over log 5 here then also from change of this when we have log a over log b we can write this as log a to base b that is from here this becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 to base 5 minus log 3 to base 5. So here we have the value of x in this problem as 1 plus log 2 base 5 minus log 3 base 5. Now let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is we substitute the value of x here which is x equals to 1 plus log 2 base 5 minus log 3 base 5 here. Then what we have becomes 5 raised to power 1 plus log 2 base 5 minus log 3 base 5. Then we have plus 2, then minus also 5 raised to power 1 plus log 2 base 5 minus log 3 base 5 is equal to 80 on this side. Then from here we have 1 plus, three, 1 plus 2 here, that's 3, so we have 5 raised to power 3 plus log. 2 base 5 then minus log 3 base 5 minus also here we have 5 raised to power 1 plus log 2 base 5 minus log 3 base 5 is equal to 80 on this side then when we apply the law of indices a raised to power m plus n is same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. Also, a raised to power m minus n is same thing as a raised to power m over a raised to power n. That is, here we have 5 raised to power 3 times 5 raised to power log 2 base 5, then over 5 raised to power log 3 base 5. Then minus. Also, here we have 5 raised to power 1 times 5 raised to power log 2 base 5. Then over 5 raised to power log 3 base 5 is equal to 80 from here. That is, here we have 5 raised to power 3. 5 multiplied itself 3 times, and that's 125. Then times what we have here follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a, which is the same thing as b. That is here we have 2, then over here we have 3, then minus 5 raised to power 1, that's t5, then times 2, over here we have 3, then is equal to 80 on this side. Then here we have 250 over 3 then minus here we have 10 over 3 is equals to 80 from here when we bring this together SCM is t3 and this gives us 240 over 3 is equals to 80 on this side 
and here 240 over 3 this is 80 which is equals to 80 from here left hand side equals to the right hand side and hence here we conclude that x equals to 1 plus log 2 base 5 minus log 3 base 5 satisfies this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget to stay. subscribe for more videos turn the notification bell on share this video give it a thumbs up and put your comment in the comment section see you next class and bye for now